Hola, I am back from Mexico. <laughs> um, I'm squinting because this <laughs> I'm in the conservatory and this sun is pretty wild. Look at my cup. I got this in the Cancun airport. It's, it's got a little polar bear in it. And if you you can't see that, but if you shake it, the little balls go. It's these characters from Cartoon Network called the Bear Bears. <laughs> Um, it's quite a small cup for me though. I usually have like a, I don't know, beast. But this is, you don't need to know what's in my cup. Oh, how big my cup is. Never mind. Um, so I'm back from Mexico. It was pretty good. Um, I am peeling. <laughs> and I am tanned. Can you tell? Uh, I am going to do a separate video on what I knit in Mexico. Did my expectations meet the reality? Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> it's so hot here. I mean, it was like 32 degrees in Mexico. But this is glorious. I'm gonna just prop you up here. Ah, okay, so. We came back, what did we come back? We came back on Thursday. I had the flu on Friday. I slept all day Saturday. Uh, Sunday we did gardening. Um, and movie night was last night. And I worked on my flutter butt. And I started the ruffle. Can you still hear me? I don't know. Oh my god. What? It Mm, every time you put a project down, it seems to get tangled. Okay, so this is where we are. It's really big. And I feel. I feel like. Well, no, that's kind of hitting my belly button, so it should be okay. So I've started work on the ruffle uh, on the bottom. One thing, I like to pick up stitches with a crochet hook. Um, I just feel that it's tidier. I prefer it. So in my brain, I'm like, <laughs> wouldn't it be easier if you've got like a crochet hook for the end of your interchangeable? So you could, instead of having a crochet hook and then put on your interchangeable, you could just like pick up and crochet right on. You can, it's called an interchangeable Tunisian crochet hook. So um, I might need to invest in a, like a 3.5 millimeter, one of them because that would be really helpful. 3.5 millimeter because that's the size I like. Does anybody else have a favorite crochet hook size? Does me? Anyway. So yeah, that's progressing quite a bit. Um, This needs to be nine inches. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I don't know if this is mad, and I, I apologize if it's not, refer back to the I had the flu. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut the steak on the arms and put the ruffle in for the arms on both sides and use up whatever yarn needs used for that and then this is ridiculous take out I think it's like I want to say 10 grams but I think it's less than that that I need for my mitered square blanket because it would be illegal not to do that. And then whatever's left, I just knit on the ruffle until the yarn is done. Because the goal, the goal is to not have any yarn left ever. <laughs> That's the goal, isn't it? Um, what do you think? It could mean that this looks ridiculously long. I mean, is that a bad thing? Probably not. I don't think there's anything I need to do to, oh no, I've done the neck. I've done the, the ribbon on the neck. Yarn everywhere. Um, I've done the ribbon on the neck. So it is just literally, stick these bad boys, put the ruffle on, 
and continue working with that i think that's what we're gonna do so yeah i'm gonna figure out how to secure this because in theory because well i mm, i only added three stitches so that's one either side and one to cut and as much as it is kind of sticky yarn it's not that sticky so I'm gonna I'm gonna just read around some sticking. I know Kate Davies has a good blog post that I've used before. And yeah, I'm gonna have a look and see. Maybe I'm not sure. Oh, I know I can sew and machine it and that would definitely secure it, but I think if I could not have to hole out, hole out <laughs> if I could not have to hole out the name this this sewing machine. That would be great. Here comes my dog. Hi, my dog. Are you enjoying the sun? Oh, hang on. I'll move that. There we go. There he is. You can't see him, but he is here. There he is. Say hi, Oz. He doesn't care. Sorry. So yeah, I think if I could just crochet some reinforcement round or something, that would be useful. So that's where I am. So I suppose I'll speak to you once we're ready at that stage. I will also link down below um, the tutorials that I read, that I read, because you might find it helpful, because these things are helpful. Right, I'm going to go figure that out. Right, okay, hi. Look at my hands, my hand tan. So what I've just read from Brooklyn Tweed, and I will link that below, is you can do, find my sticky stitches. You can do a um, securing barrier on either side of the stitch to be cut with crochet. That's a winner winner. So how am I gonna do this? Through the camera. Um good question. Let me zoom you in a bit. Ooh. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna detach the yarn. I'm just gonna use the yarn from the middle and hope it doesn't cut there we go, so that's what we wanted. And they recommended putting a running stitch up the stitch you're going to cut. I feel like I'm going to wing it. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the sniffing. And just go for it. So, um, well, maybe I do need a stitch. <laughs> One, two. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see this. So these are my three cast on stitches. One, two, three. This is the one I'm going to cut. They say put your single crochets, like catching the, the edge of the one you're going to cut next to the one you're going to secure. And then on this side, the one you're going to cut with the one you're going to secure. So what you're actually cutting is this ladder down the middle here. Um, it'll maybe, oops, it'll maybe be better if I just do it and show you. So, I'm going to put some music over this because you do not want me sniffing um, all the way through. So, one, two, three. So, how would you do the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> the tutorial, right? Da, 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 let's get the iPad.
leg of the middle stitch. Wait, is it? Oh, see, now I'm confused. Maybe, maybe I need to ruin the stitch, guys. What do you think? Can I, can I get back to you once I have started this? I'll be RB. Again, I apologize for the snot out. Um, I can't help it. So, <laughs> I gave in and put a running line where I'm going to be cutting. It's making life <laughs> so easy. Um, so, would recommend. I've managed to get my little um, single crochet going. So, uh, let me show you. Uh, can I zoom in? Can I do it this way? Right. So, the one we're aiming for is... Um, can, I, can I do it? Where's... I need a pointer. <laughs> Use my knit needle. We're aiming for this one here and then this one here okay so da, da, da. it is easier once you've got some going because you can kind of like smush it like this and create your v's popping on the top and then we're just gonna oh the camera's gonna fall <laughs> hang on <laughs> okay so you've got a loop and then a loop so you're going for these two blue ones next. Yeah. <laughs> this is difficult. I'm I'm looking through the the viewfinder to be honest. Oh, it's so talented. It's so talented. Okay, and then we're just gonna go all the way at the top and do the same on the other side. So can you see how it's picking up? Um, where's my pointer? Can you see how it's picking up the the V of the, the middle stitch and the V of the secure stitch? Would recommend a running line. <laughs> you can't see my thumbs. Ah! Okay, friends. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Um, I'm not ready. I'm going to cut from here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? I'm not ready. Can you see? <laughs> right. Let's do it, beaches. So we're going for this middle bar here. And we'll just go slow. John, I'm going to tilt you up a wee bit. Okay, there we go. That's maybe the best, right? So, we're not cutting that. This. Cut this. I'm scared. I'm not scared. It's just will. <laughs> this is really hard doing this around the camera. Make sure you're not cutting anything else, like you're not doing this and going through. Just, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this like a tutorial and I don't mean to. I meant to just be some fun. This is why I would advise, or I do not advise, doing a three stitch steak. Maybe do five. Unless you have to. It's not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Oh, what's going on here? What is going on there? Can you see that? Hmm. Well, it's just a bit of fluff, it's okay. I thought I'd maybe crochet through something that I shouldn't have. Oh, <gasps> nearly there! Oh, these wee bits are so annoying. There we go! And we have an armhole! Isn't that exciting? 
What I might also do, because I'm not sure. Hang on, let me zoom in again. I'm not sure if I caught this top bit properly. Doesn't look like I did. So I'm gonna use these bits to just um, like stitch in and secure everything. But I think. Oh, don't pull. That is secure. That is secure. And then when I pick up stitches, I think I'll pick them up from here. Just to give it an extra. I know that'll be a bit of bulk on the inside. But I think... I mean, that's where you pick them up from anyway. If you're thinking you added that stitch. So that's the... So yeah, there we go. Ready, ready. So let's do the other one. And then... Hi. Well, I don't know what's happened to you though. I mean, you'll you won't see that once it's all picked up and sleevified. But mm, I'm chuffed with that. That was worth the effort. That was worth the effort. I mean, it wasn't a big effort, but like it was worth it. <laughs> Can I just do it from this angle? I've put my hat on because it's really sunny. Um, well, it was oh, it was pure dad good. While oh, I do the other one, uh. Bye. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Hi. I feel like crap again. So, <clears throat> I have a frilly sleep. I, so, <laughs> where's my pillow? This is what I have left. You need to do, for my size, three inches on here, the same on the other side, and then nine on the bottom. And I was worried that if I did three on both, it wouldn't leave me with such a big frill on the bottom, and I think the bottom frill is the most important frill. So I have cut this off <laughs> at, I think it was two inches, although well, it looks like three now, but I think that's two inches. And I'm hoping that that's still going to give me enough to get a nine inch bottom. I can't think. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just, I just hopped on to say that I did think about not casting it off and leaving it um like I've done this leaving it on on the cables but I would have to break the yarn which would mean when I joint it back on the color could be a bit um disjointed is the word so I thought I will bite the bullet cast it off and we'll just go with it so I'm hoping Watch me be left with loads left and I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I can always just unpick it and like the, the the end effect would be the same. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm feeling all out of sorts today. So I also managed, hello. Hello. I also managed to um, cut really one of my crochet stitches, so I'm going to have to repair that, but that's fine. But Mark wants to talk to me, so I'm going to go away now. Okay, bye. So I have finished my ruffle butt top. Well, you've not. I thought I had finished my ruffle butt top, and Mark tried it on for me. Insert picture. How handsome. And I, we're like, something's wrong with the sleeves. So this one's all nice and ruffly, and this one's just no, just what? no, it's just curled. So what's happened is <laughs> you're meant to double the amount of stitches so that you get the ruffle. Clearly didn't do it on this one, and can't fix it because this is all the yarn I have left. Oh, oh no! <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> ha ha! Get back to one. So, um. I'm gonna have to rip them out and figure it out because they look so stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You want it, bud? 
the flower pot is finished and it's time to block. So I'm in the dye shed. I just got a big basin. Uh, I need to turn on the shower. Clink. Um, I have soak left from a long time ago. Uh, it looks like oil, right? It's not it's soak. I'm just trying to use this up because I don't actually like it very much. I prefer Lidl own brand. I know this is Tesco's. I prefer Lidl's own brand. <laughs> Fairy liquid. I feel that that doesn't um, pull out the colour. For some reason I find soak just makes things bleed. So we'll get some hot water going. Try not to soak myself. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up soaking myself. I'm like, Why are you not on? Oh, were you on at the wall already? <sighs> Doi. So, hang on, I'll turn you around. It's all gone wrong. One thing, the soap does smell good. Is that actually warm? Yeah. And then in she goes. And just, um, hose her down. And I'll leave that to sit. A couple hours, a couple days. <laughs> Depends when I remember. Da da da. Okay, I will show you once she's blocked. Actually, let me show you what I mean about the soak. I mean, this might have happened anyway, but I doubt it. Can you see? The blue. <sighs> I might just empty that and um, just use the fairy liquid and see. I apologise for the workmen that are making a lot of noise <laughs> outside. Um, so yeah, so this is my flower bot by um, I can't remember. <laughs> Jessie made and uh, do you know what I haven't had this on so I'm filming this like six months from when I finished this and uh, I really thought I didn't like this but now I have it on I really love it um the yarn is easy knits I can't remember what the makeup is I thought it was going to be itchy but it's not it's really soft and I really like where the kind of peplumy flutter is um it kind of evens out my giant hips <laughs> I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I'm, I'm really glad that I uh, did the steaking for the stripes. I know the pooling has changed significantly from the bottom, but I'm glad that it's not as random as it could have been. Um, yeah, so I'll probably make another one of these. Probably. Um, I don't know if you can tell, the uh, colours on this did bleed a bit. Um, so instead of the, the white being like creamy white, it's now a green tint. But um, the yarn is very old and I need to learn my lesson to um, maybe just cold water block my stuff. <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, please do this. Very pleased. Pika Pika! Pika Pika! Pikachu! Pika Pika! Hi Pikachu! Love you. Hi. Hi, Pika Pika. Hello. Okay. So I finished the second sock. I I haven't filmed the socks because socks. But let me turn you around. So this was the second sock, and I have made it fit properly. Oh, she says. Um. <laughs> this one, as you might have saw, saw on, is is a bit too long. I'm not sure if that heel agrees with me either, but these are for my mum. Um, so I think I'm gonna rip back a bit and take the toe down. They just this one this this one just feels a lot more comfortable than this one, and you can you can see that it's this one it's too big. So yeah, I'm gonna rip this out, and that'll be another project done. I do have yarn left. I don't know where it is. Hang on, in here. So I'm going to weigh what's left and see if uh, see if I can make something else. I'm sure we'll figure that out later. But for now, let's rip this bad boy out. Say hi, us.
Oh. Okay, bye, all. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the plan for just now. It's such a nice day. <sighs> so good. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Just a quick voiceover LJ from the future to say I finished off the socks. I have gifted them to my mum. I didn't video them being finished. Or if I did, I can't find the footage. Um, so, I have a picture. And mum loves them. She wears them all the time. I have yarn left, but we'll discuss that at the end. Hello, creepy peepees. I am coming to you from a very sleepy Sunday. We were up Glen Fold We were up Glen Folda yesterday with Mark's brother Martin. And... Um... It was a lot of driving, so I am um, a bit pooped today. So we spent the most of the day chilling and my mum came down to cut the grass. <laughs> so living our best lives. Anyway, I'm doing a separate video on a baby blanket that I'm crocheting for my soon-to-be nephew. He's not born yet. Um, so I just, I'll just do a quick check in here. But once the blanket's finished, I'll have a full video on it. Um... Because it makes sense in my brain, kind of. Um, so, this is the pattern. It's a little star granny square blanket. It's very cute. And I have, I, so I've, I've, right, get your thoughts straight. As you know, I'm trying to use stash. So when I was picking the colours and I'm doing it in a rainbow, not because June is Pride Month, but happy Pride, um, just because rainbow so from my stash i've got these <laughs> i have these and i have used these for the stars so far i have ordered more yarn because i needed it for the blanket that's my excuse i'm sticking to it um but i have already finished doing all the stars that i can do um where's the blue there nah. So I'm gonna have to go back. This is why I'm. This is why I'm checking in. I need to go back and work on a different project. And oh, Pikachu's first feather. Oh, I forgot that was in here. Can you see? Oh, is it better without my hand? Oh, my face. Oh my god. So, oh, uh, sidetrack. My mum for Easter got fertilized eggs for each of us so mum dad my brother his partner me and mark so we picked an egg and mum mum hatched them and my one was the first one to hatch and i called her pikachu this is her as a trick and every week i see her she like gets bigger and currently she's in her ugly teenage phase um but yeah that was the first feather she she cast. He's so cute. Um, sadly, the rest of the eggs didn't hatch. Um, so there's only Pikachu. But she is Molly Coddled. Anywho, so. Yes, so back to this. Um, so I have crocheted all the stars so far. Um, you need to put a border round and then border round. But I don't have that yarn. I'm waiting on that yarn. So, my fellow people... Oh, do we? And I feel like I know the answer to this, but I also know what I would rather do. I'm surrounded by projects on the floor. Now, let me show you. Yeah, my, my, sh my shits. Just... <sighs> okay. Do we... Finish my harvest jumper? It's close. I feel like this is what I should do. Um, do some more work on my beads of joy. I've not touched since I came back. I'm not feeling that right now. I feel like because it's barely started, it can just wait. Oh, there's my brain. Or, and this is the one I want to do. Do I do the neon socks? The, I mean, these would be quick. Do I want a quick win? Or do I want to finish... Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it I've got some things to put away 
I'll come back to you on what I choose. I can't wink. <laughs> that was me winking. Hang on. You you wink with your cheek. <laughs> okay, fine. How big, of a, how big of a base do you want to build, guys? I mean, decently sized, but we're not, like, stepping... Like, so I'm being good, and I'm working on my jumper. Yeah, like, stuck on each other, you know? Basic starter base that I, I often yeah, build for us. I have a yeah. level 3 um, stone axe. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, my sweet porridge is... Uh, oh, they're not here yet. They are, um... Home bargains. I think I was three minutes Get back in that cage. She wasn't, she was packing the camera. Hello, long time no see. Um, I needed a break from everything. Um, but I'm back now and I'm back to discuss netting. I cast on these socks from the neon, was it Robin something? The tag's over there. I wanna use, so the point in this is to use as much yarn as possible out of my stash. And and so I, so, so. I split the 100 gram ball into two fifties, right? With 50 and 50. And that has knitted one sock. And I'm left with this. And I'm like, I don't wanna be left with two of these. So what I thought is I'm going to knit the sock as the pattern is and I know I could have done it toe up but I didn't so don't and, um, so I'm going to weigh how much is left and um, we're going to like I'm going to tangle like if there's enough to make two pairs of socks that would be great um, if there's not I'm going to pull this out because it didn't take me very long and make the cuff longer so what do we think also apologize for Wheezy in the background my 3d printer it's like 20 grams 15 halves 25 oh boy Let's measure the sock. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's 30 grams. But, like, mm. so I think I'm just gonna. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Because technically, if I just need another 10 grams, I could get some super chunky out of the cupboard. Yeah. So I didn't need to peel this out. Okay, so that's where we are with that. Um, I was also a bit confused as to how to structure these videos because I'm quite enjoying doing them kind of vlog style, but then I'm not sure how to like... Okay, we're back on the needle, no are we? Ah. I'm not quite sure how to, sorry, I've also got a sniffy nose. <laughs> Everything's just gone wrong today. It's not, it's not, that's not true. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to like show you how much I've used. Like, do I just tag that on the end or do I just like talk about, pardon me, <laughs> actual disaster. Or do I talk as I finished a project? How, like, would you prefer at the end of a video or whilst during the video? Not, well, maybe I could do it. leave it with me and I'll get back to you about that. <laughs> but yeah, so I think what we'll do is do leave this as yarn and get some super, is it super chunky or just chunky? Let me get the thing. It's just chunky. Um, so I'll get some chunky out of the stash and... That means we can use up all of the yarn, which is going to be excellent. So yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to go. Bye. I'm going to have a yippee dog down here.
I finished these. Very cool, very cool. But I'm left with some yarn. And we're trying not to be left with yarn. Um, 41 grams to be specific. That's so new on camera. These use 60 grams. So I can't knit. These are matching. No, they're not. I thought they were matching because of that stripe, but they're not. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm just going to knit another pair of these. But I've gone into the stash and got this, which is some New Lanark chunky yarn in a cream colour. I don't have much chunky. Um, so I think we can maybe stripe, do some stripes maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I, the reason I've looked this out is because I'm going to wait for my lunch and I need something to work on. What colour? What colour? Green! Green? It's grey. Grey! It's grey. <laughs> so yeah. I wondered if I should wind off what I don't know. I'm overthinking it. Let's just knit them. Let's get some yarn out the stash. This is the whole point of this project, right? So here we are. Bye. <laughs> Again, sorry for the um workies in the background. <laughs> So these are the slipper socks by Veronica Vanna, I think. And I used the, um, God, what was it? I just said it at the start of this video. Um, Robin yarn to do this with. And I'm really chuffed that I'm actually a full pair and a second pair using some stash yarn um, out of this yarn, out of this yarn. <laughs> I'm happy I managed to get two pairs of socks out of this is what I'm saying um, and used up all of the neon yarn so none went back into the stash that's great um, what do I have to say these are just some cosy short socks that I slip on generally over other socks when my feet are cold um, I haven't used these recently or at all because uh, they've been sitting in a basket for six months waiting for me to film this video <laughs> um, but yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend um, so yeah, can't wait to get these in my rotation. Might even take a pair to work. I am so over this goddamn rabbit. I have, I'm on the last fiddly bit. I'm on the ear. I still have the stomach thing to do, but that's fine. And I've just realized that I was, I've missed out a decrease. So it's, it's two stitches too narrow. Do I rip back to approximately here and do the increases? Or do I just keep going and just, I mean, it's not that possible. I can't do this with my phone. Hang on. Oh, so that's a view and a it's like my mural. It's cool, eh? Um, where are we? I mean, is it? Is it that noticeable? It's not, is it? Is it? It's not. It's no. Well, that's the roof. My brain says, do it properly. But my body, but my body, my body keeps turning me ass. Wait. No. I'm going to need to pull it back a wee bit. Oh, well, you told my hand. Where can I put you? I have a box. It's not a firing angle, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're just going to do it properly. And we're going to rip it back to... I'm so mad at myself. 
about there. About, that's about where the, can you see the increase? Because, <laughs> this is what I mean about the pattern not being very good. It's not, like, if I was to do this, I would have the increases mid-row. So this was smoother, not so, but that's just me. Uh, maybe another row. Or two. I'll do. Okay. Thanks. Peace. Bye. I finished the rabbit. I'm going to show you now because I'm not going to have it when I film this. So. <laughs> I'm going to send it unstuffed and he doesn't have his arms on because they need stuffed. But he's quite cute. Um, really difficult to show. Oh, wait, I can put him over my bin bag. Hang on. Is that what I mean? Oh, that kind of works. <laughs> Pretend. Oh, let's go this way. Looks like he's got a broken neck. Cute, huh? <laughs> Okay, but I'm going on holiday tomorrow and I haven't packed, so okay, bye. Welcome to the end of the video. Thanks for um, tolerating <laughs> the, the, let's say, time scale. I don't know if you noticed, but I started filming this video back in June of 2023, I think. Um, just as we come back from Mexico and it's only now which is what February 2024 that I have decided to finish said video um life took a bit of an unexpected turn when we were in Mexico nothing terrible just change of circumstances um alongside the fact that uh I was really burnt out from Rusty Ferret and decided to apply for some part-time jobs with the theory that um, I can go to work, do some job, do the job, come home, get paid um, and do ferret on the side. Um, so I actually really like my job. <laughs> it is part-time um, and I'm, my head's still not back in the ferret game. So it took me a while to get my head in gear as to what I wanted to do and I really like making these videos um, I don't know if I'm good at it I'm probably not but I really like sharing this and it keeps me a little bit accountable because I have been filming everything I've been working on um, through the year I just haven't been editing um, the videos to put up because I just I haven't had time <laughs> um, I've gone from being like I'm gonna say quite a sedentary person um, like mocking about the house a lot to I'm out to work I go swimming twice a week with my mom and then you know we do this and we do that and I, I, I don't know who is this person I don't know so I never make time to sit down and actually edit the videos even though I am constantly like filming things um so these videos will come out over the next couple months and then hopefully we'll catch up and then we'll be on the same time scale um Sorry, the clouds are really beautiful just now. <laughs> Let me show you. They're so pretty. Although it's quite snowy. <laughs> are we closer than we were before? Sorry. Okay, so, um, for... <laughs> I have literally called this D-slash video too because this goes over a few months. Um, in my brain, I was going to do like January, February, March, April, May, June. Um, it hasn't worked like that. I've just kind of where things naturally ended I think anyway so what you're here for well I think you're here for um I have been writing down how much I've been using of everything so let's start shall we um so the flutter butt that I'm wearing you can't really see all of it but you will have seen it earlier in the video I used all the easy knits yarn for this so there's nothing left in the stash so that was a total of 150 grams second was my mum's socks um 
I only used about half 62 grams of that so there is still some going back in the stash um but only like 38 grams ish um that stupid rabbit I made for for clan I don't know if I explained I was making it for clan cancer hop trail it's, it's been so long anyway that's why I was making a rabbit and it wasn't stuffed so that it was cheaper to post and they asked us not to stuff it because they would stuff it here comes my husband um I'm gonna pause okay he's gone back to work so um what was I saying the rabbit for clan so uh now the rusty ferret rainbow um colorway what was it kids rainbow I used only eight grams of that just because it was just his belly now because it was so long ago I used the Wendy Ramsdale for his the rest of them and I had 67 grams but I I don't think I used it all but I can't find the ball so I'm gonna say I've used it all and then if I find the ball I can add it back in because we're doing a fluctuating total so if that is correct I have used 59 grams for that um next up is the slipper socks by Veronica Van in my really sexy neon yarn from Robin I think it was um so for the first pair I used 62 grams I then took what was left so the 38 grams and mixed that in with some new Lanark chunky that I had and kind of did stripes as you saw and so the robin I used I used up the 38 grams poof gone and the new Lanark to add that in I used uh 24 grams so in total for the first pair of socks it was 62 grams second pair of socks 62 grams how consistent so for this month that means we have used 395 grams of wool and at that time not added any more to the stash so that's a win in my book um i will preempt that the stash does get added to no judgment just we did <laughs> um so that means that we went from we're gonna do it in grams or kilograms hello the dog's here um we started off with 33.75 kilos we didn't use any at all <laughs> the last video um however we have used 395 grams which is means we have three th <laughs> there's a lot of threes that means we have 33.355 kilograms left or 33,355 grams so if we are looking for a kilo out of the stash that means we're what about a third well 400 i'm gonna say about a third of the way there it's pretty good right that's pretty good so with that i'm gonna wrap up this video um thank you for waiting thank you for subscribing thank you for being here i really appreciate it um yeah i will see you in the next video which is gonna be like maybe july and august of 2023 um so i hope you're behaving i hope you don't have lots of snow and i love you very much mm -hmm.